Today on Cooking with the Boss, we're gonna have a southern fish fry. Let's get it. Oh yeah, and I got my new apron on, you already know it. What's going on guys? Your boy the boss is back and this time we're doing a southern fish fry and to get it started off we're gonna make some onion rings. Gotta get them onions chopped up, sliced. I don't like them to do them really thick. I kind of like them fairly thin that way they're kind of stringy almost like onion straws. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to soak them in buttermilk for about an hour and a half to two hours. And you put them in the refrigerator and just keep them refrigerated and soak them in that buttermilk. And that's really going to help your bread and stick to them. And it just gives them a good fried taste. Honestly, I really don't know. But I know that the buttermilk makes it better. So use some buttermilk instead of egg. You don't want no egg in, in there with the onions. You can do that with the meat, but don't do that with the uh, with the onion rings. Use that buttermilk. We're gonna get them mixed up in that buttermilk. And I'm gonna pour it over the top of them and make sure they all good and coated. I got a little bit of black pepper, some salt, and in this video, guys, we are using all kind of spices and stuff. So I can list um, either in the video or in the description the ingredients and stuff we use. We're gonna go ahead and fill them oil. Uh, pans up now we got a gallon of oil in each fryer we're using canola oil don't ask me why it's just what we got at the Sam's Club so we're using canola oil we're gonna get all three of them filled up and we're gonna get ready to fry look how pretty that is all right y'all we got our onions we got our egg wash for the meat we got some chicken strips we're gonna do a little chicken tenders for the ladies that don't eat fish, which is lame at a fish fry. But you know, you gotta you gotta provide for the ladies. Make sure they got what they need. And so we can eat all the fish. Like right here, the money shot. We got bass fillets, we got brim, whole brim we're gonna be frying. Uh, but right now I'm gonna get these chicken breaded. Like I said, we gotta keep the ladies happy. You know, happy wife, happy life. That's the way it goes. And I just got some house altry chicken bread and I'm using right here. And uh, we're gonna get these breaded up in a pan and then we're gonna throw them in the fryer. Oh yeah, baby, we got some onion rings. We done threw those in. They smelling good. And bro, I'm telling y'all, these were the best onion rings that I've ever had. We're gonna keep making them like this in the future. All, everybody, even the people that didn't like fish and all that stuff, the onion rings were a hit out of the park. And we used, I think, five or six onions and it was way too many onions. <laughs> <laughs> One onion makes way more onion rings than I thought. Here we got some chicken strips in the fryer. You hear that sizzle? We got our oil at about 375 uh, before we put the chicken in. Obviously when you put colder meat into the oil, it's gonna bring the temperature down a little bit. But now we're gonna throw some fish in the oil. Here we doing whole brim. Just chop the head off, pull the insides out, clean them and fry them boys up, bread them and fry them. And you can't have a fish fry this size without some help. So I got my buddy Scott helping. He was a huge help. He's frying some fish for us. See them brim right there? Man, them things was jammed up. They went on a big fishing trip or something and caught a ton of fish and he called me up and was like, hey, let's, let's fry some fish. And I said, you name the day and time and we gonna cut the camera on, look at that. Mm. That is jam up. Woo. If you from the south and you ain't been to a good fish fry, you holler at your boy. Because we do it right. You hear that sizzle? Mm. 
Like I said, we had ours about 375 to 400. We tried to regulate the temperature, but you know, it can be difficult when you're frying a bunch of stuff. You like your boy's new apron? Got it with the logo on it. Maybe one day we can have some merch and you guys can buy your own. But uh, we got a bunch of, we had a good, good bit of people come over for the fish fry. We knew we was gonna be frying all this fish, so we had to invite a bunch of people. You hear that sizzle? And we had some samplers out there in the crowd too. My boy Hunter. Must have been good. He wasn't saying nothing. Everybody was loving it. We got some hush puppies in the fryer. We had everything, dude. Um, the fish we used Zatarans uh, breading. And we just got it in a huge tub at Sam's. It was really good. We didn't do nothing crazy, nothing special. We just, you know, threw some salt and pepper in there with it. And we fried everything. And it was so good. She said, you can taste the mud in this fish. If you ain't from the south, you ain't gonna know what that means, but we got muddy water down here. And you know what that tastes like in some fish. It makes it jam up. It's God, what God's way of marinating the fish for you. I'm throwing some bass fillets in the oil now. Those came out really good. I'm a fan of the brim, but the bass fillets was on point too. They were really good. We had so much of this fish left over. Dude, we were taking trays down the street to the neighbors. <laughs> Look at all that. Look at them onion rings. That's the bass fillets. You got the brim. We got some chicken strips. We got all the condiments, the sodas, drinks, everything. When we do a fish fry, we do it upright. Even my sister-in-law liked it. <laughs> and she's picky. But anyway, guys, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who came out and helped at the fish fry. We had a freaking blast. And thanks to all the subscribers out there who's watching this and sharing it. Be sure and like and subscribe for more. I'm the boss, and we'll see you next time on Cooking with the Boss. Like a boss, like a southern fried fish eating fat girl boss. <laughs> That's what I feel like. That's how you do a southern fish fry. Like a boss.